Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. We're in the Crescent Hotel and I'm with the author, a famous author, Barry Forshaw. Now, Barry, what are you doing up here in Scarborough? Because you're from London, aren't you? I am, and I come every year to meet, basically to interview the stars because the Books by the Beach Festival has the stars. Well, of course, famous, great authors. But you are an author. I am. I write, uh, I review crime for the Financial Times and The Guardian. But I write books on crime fiction with titles like Brit Noir, Historical Noir. And in fact, usually I'm able to quote my own books when I come here. So I have Ben Aronovich after we've had this interview. And I can read what I wrote about Ben Aronovich in Brit Noir. And just read us a little passage from it. Well, I'm going to re read just a section I wrote about Ben Aronovich, who is the author I'll be speaking today. The formidable Ben Aronovich has an eccentric writing style and literary preoccupations that is very different from most of his colleagues. His speciality is the Rivers of London sequence. It's an infusion of fantasy elements and the London that his copper, Peter Grant, negotiates in a phantasmagorical location. Now, you write for the newspapers, the, uh -huh. the uh, Guardian. The Guardian, the Financial Times and, and, Financial and the Eye. And the Eye. Yes. Very good, very respected newspapers. So what's it like working for those? It's harder these days because the main problem is pressure from the publishers because there's very little actual space for reviewing books nowadays. It's less and less. And all the publicists and editors and authors are always nagging me saying, why haven't you covered my book? But there's a limited number of spaces. So what can you do? Yeah. So your books, tell me about your books. So I try to cover every era and every country in crime fiction. So I've written Nordic Noir, Euro Noir, American Noir, Brit Noir, and Historical Noir now. So I think I've covered Noir pretty thoroughly. Yeah, historical. How would you find out about that? So it's really any books which are set in a period 50 years before the present is what I say. Mm. Ironically, eras that I grew up in are now historical, which is a bit sobering when you discover that. But there's a lot of really good historical crime being written now. Writers like Andrew Taylor, um, C.J. Sampson. There's a really good market for that. Yeah, so where do you get your ideas from? And you must have to do a lot of research as well. Yeah, my ideas, are, it's lucky with me because my ideas come from the books I write about. I don't have to come up with original ideas. The publishers send me the books and I read them and then write about them. That's why I could never really write a novel. I have not the slightest desire to create my own world. I let other people do it for me. So the research is in the books you read? The writing? research is in the books, yeah. yeah Although you have to know a lot of things. You're writing for newspapers. You have to know what's going on in the world. Yeah. You have to be au fait with everything, really, or you might miss things. So I read about three newspapers a day, as well as the books I all have to read. Wow, yeah. So you've got a website? I have, www.crimetime.co.uk. Ben Aronovich, you are an author. Look at this, The Furthest Station. What a, a nice book. Now tell me, how many books have you written and why do you do it? Uh, this is, well, this is the eighth book in that particular. There's eight books in this series. The eighth isn't out yet. Um, I do it because it's so much easier than work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wake up every morning thinking, suckers, because I don't have to work for a living, which is like, I hate work. Yeah. I never was very good at it. Try so to avoid it as much as possible. So you're up in Scarborough. You're from London, I take yeah. it. So you're up in Scarborough. Why? Um, I'm here for the Books on the Beach Festival, which is a very famous festival, which all all good authors like to come up for, because um, you, you get fed and and you have Scarborough hospitality, which is always very nice. Brilliant. And, uh, and there's cliffs and mists and beaches and all sorts of fun things. So yeah, why not? I love Scarborough. So how many books have you actually written? Well, I, in the Rivers of London series, I've written seven books, and then there's an eighth on the way uh, later this year. And um, I've also written some other stuff in the past, but uh, that's mostly gone out of print now, which is a curse of the writer. These are the successful ones, so I only like to talk about them. Yeah. So the Rivers of London, well, I know of two, which is the Fleece and the Thames. Well, yes, those are two very famous. There's yeah. also the Tyburn, which runs... Oh, yes, the Tyburn, Tyburn. yes, yes. And then there's rivers that people go past all the time, like Beverly Brook, the Wandle, that runs through South London, the, the Lee, of course, which is a great big river, which is above ground all the way. And then there's the rivers that are hidden under the ground, like the Ephra and the Neckinger. So there's lots of rivers, but they're, they're, they're characters in my books, and so therefore... Uh, that I've learned to know them quite well. Although not as well as some people who come up to me and go, did you know? And they tell me something I know. I keep learning things I never knew. So there you go. That's brilliant. Ben Aronovich, a famous author. And Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News.